Meghan Markle burst into tears after discovering that her estranged half-sister Samantha is planning to write a book about her, DailyMail.com can disclose. The Duchess of Sussex, who is around seven months pregnant, was upset because she felt she was being taken advantage of, according to a close friend with knowledge of the situation. Samantha, 54, first revealed her literary ambitions in April 2016 and initially said the book would be called, The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. Earlier this month, she announced she would be writing a second book which, like the first, will be called, In the Shadows of the Duchess. The first installment is slated for publication in April, around the time that Meghan, 37, is expected to give birth, and will. Samantha said in a recent interview with the Daily Star, cover everything from behind the scenes that the world does not know about. Meghan has told friends that she stopped reading interviews with members of her family after finding out about the first book two years ago and tries not to look at gossip about herself. She stopped reading things after finding out about her sister's book, the friend told DailyMail.com. She cried when she found out about it. Out of everything that's been said, the one thing that really upset her was that, the book. She and Samantha never had a very good relationship and she feels her sister is using her position for profit. Meghan is last thought to have seen her sister, who lives in Ocala, Florida, in 2008 and her brother Thomas Markle Jr., 52, of Grant Pass, Oregon, in 2011. Both have repeatedly spoken out about their famous half-sister, more recently to plead with her to reach out to their father. Thomas Markle S.R., 74, of Rosarito, Baja California, has been estranged from his youngest child since missing the royal wedding last May following a staged photo scandal and has begged her to get in touch via a series of interviews. But friends of Meghan have contradicted his version of events in an interview with People magazine published earlier this week, insisting that the pregnant royal had tried to get in touch with her father and had been rebuffed. The story also claimed he had responded to a heartfelt letter begging him to stop attacking her and the media with a note requesting a joint photo shoot. It's not fair what he's done, the insider told DailyMail.com. He's always known how to get in touch with her and they've never been as close as he's made out. By the time she got her role on Suits, he'd moved on, to his current residence in Mexico, and so they would only really see each other during the holidays. Sister Samantha has already responded to the new claims, taking to Twitter on Wednesday to dub the People Story Bulls. She added, There are plenty of text messages and receipts to prove otherwise. Stop the PR crap hashtag fake news. Earlier in the week, she addressed her father and sister's relationship, writing, I don't think people understand. Dad gave her everything and was amazing and very nurturing to her all the way up until she announced the engagement. She is the one who turned for no reason. There should be a new diagnosis called to think him too good for every aneitis. Meghan has been out repeatedly in the past week beginning with a visit to the National Theatre in London on January 30 followed by a trip to City University the next day to attend a meeting of the Association of Commonwealth Universities. Last Friday, she joined husband Prince Harry, 34, for a visit to Bristol, which took in the Old Vic Theatre and the 125 Charity Kitchen where Meghan wrote empowering messages on bananas due to be delivered to sex workers as part of a care package. They also visited Empire Fighting Chance, a boxing gym that uses the sport to support children in danger of failing at school. Meghan's friend said her newfound serenity was the result of her finally feeling at home in her royal role, adding the Duchess is desperate to get it right. The friend added, she didn't realize what a big job it was going to be going into it. It's not like playing a role, it's more challenging than she could ever have imagined. Things have eased up a little now she's pregnant and she's feeling happier and more confident than she used to. She really wants to make a success of this and do really well, she doesn't want any more snafus.